Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we were last left off, we fought Kulex. We beat Kulex. Now we're going to go ahead and make some forward progression. Uh, does the double check, am I able to make forward progression through fast travel? Nope. Even though that place is unlocked, I have to physically walk to it. That's not a big deal. Although in hindsight, I could have fast traveled to some place that was closer, but well, at least it's a scenic walk. Oh, actually, I need to stop at Booster Tower first anyway, because we're going to be heading to the casino shortly, and I need to get a card to get ain't gain entry to the casino. Somewhere in here. Perhaps here? No. Not too far in, though. We're going to locate one of the bosses that we fought on top of this tower. That would be Knife Guy. And he's going to... He's going to supply the card that we're looking for. As an aside, the Sia item, nice that it guarantees that you can run, but at the same time, it's definitely slower to activate than it is in the original Mario RPG. It, it, the original item did not make a sparkly effect. Anyway, here you are. I think you're definitely a little smaller than you were up at the boss fight. I mean, in the original game that made sense, character sprites were often smaller than the monster sprites. But I guess they still have to do that here, because how else are you going to fit in this corner? Hehehe! <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about the far. Here, I'll make it up to you. Hee-haw! You think Knife Guy wants to be a donkey? Yeah, it would not be a bad choice. I prefer being a pig, of course. Are we having fun yet? Hee hee hee. Okay, that was just practice. This time it's for real. You up to it? Hee <laughs> hee. Of course. Guess which hand the yellow ball is in. If you can. Now, watch carefully. So which hand is it in? Touch the hand you think is holding the ball. Very good. Here, the prize goes to the winner. Got a wilt shroom. And so it begins. I'm gonna have to win his challenge like 10, 15 times. Thankfully not in a row, just in total. In the meantime, we get some pretty awful items as prizes. The Wilt Shroom, I'm pretty sure, only heals 1 HP. Uh, given how weak it is, I'm surprised that we have a limit of 10. I was expecting a limit of 99. Wanna play? Nope. It's not so bad being stuck in this room. It's not like I get lonely or anything like that. But now I feel sorry for you. Alright, I'll stick around. You, you probably don't get to show off to people too often. I'm pretty sure in the original game, I could walk up to the hand even while his message box is still on screen. Also, since we're actually watching a physical object bouncing between his hands, I'm trying to decide whether that will be easier or more difficult than the original game. Because in the original game, it was a sprite, and it did not flow across the screen smoothly. Rather, it was like rapid frame 
change... Oh, how to wear this? It was an animated sprite, rather than a moving object. But you could still pretty easily follow the balls. But it's definitely interesting to see it being a physical object here. The toss arc is also a little differently than the original game. Rather, it was always an upward back and forth rather than a complete circuit in the original game. My land is offering help if I need it. And also, hello, M. Knight, welcome to the stream. I probably won't need help, but uh, keep an eye on it just in case. And we just got a rotten mush. Ew, it's rotten. Actually, I take it back. I think the rotten mush is... Possibly the 1 HP Mushroom, and the Mushroom might be 5. Although, watch it turn out that there is an even worse Mushroom than that. Eventually... The balls are going to be tossed even further, and I'm very curious to see how that looks. It slightly annoys me that when you press the A button to skip through the dialogue, it does not skip through the entire dialogue. Rather, it just skips a few characters. Then again, in the original game, you couldn't skip dialogue at all. So, though, wouldn't mind if it was like in the original game where I could move before the dialogue goes away. Also, moldy mush. Gross! There's mold growing on it! Okay, we're 11 in. Okay, M Knight is very helpful here. The Wiltshroom is 10 HP, Rotten Mush is 5 HP, and the Molding Mush is the HP, the 1 HP one. Whoa! Congratulations! You deserve this! And w there we go. It'll let you into my brother's casino. Wherever that is. Bright card. A member's card for the casino. You can keep playing this game, by the way. You'll usually get a rotten mushroom of some sort. But on occasion, he'll also give you stuff like a royal syrup or a rock candy, I'm pretty sure. Also, pretty sure by this point, he should be tossing his balls even faster. But he's not. So, quite possibly, and quite likely, playing this game is actually more difficult than the original game. Because the ball goes really quick, like, in just a few frames back and forth. Hold on a sec, did he just speed up then?
Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we're faster. Still, the ball is plenty easy to follow because it's not going as fast as it was in the original game. I'll try it for you more times to see if I can get a different item. Oh, there's a max mushroom. I forgot that was also an option. Alright. Rather than climb all the way down, fast travel. I'm going to Moleville to see if I can actually trade in these awful mushrooms. I'd be surprised, but who knows? Nope. Well, let's find out if we can sell them for anything. And hello there, Maddie. In case I haven't already said it. So the moldy mush is one coin each. The rotten mush is worth two coins each. And the shroom is worth four coins each. I am so broke right now. Uh, I am fairly certain that I do not need to buy any fireworks anymore. I've bought five, I'm pretty sure. I can still buy more, by the way, which is... Interesting. I can't remember whether you could buy more than five in the original game. Anyway, onward to the next location, Bean Valley. Somewhere in this place, there's going to be a hidden exit leading to the casino. And... New weapon for Bowser that we got recently. Which is actually another living chomp, I notice. Rather than just a spiked ball. In the original game, it was just a regular spiked ball. But nope, this is a spiky chomp. Now then, Peach, it's time for you to start spamming this mystery egg. I bought it a while ago. I need to use it. Oh! I was not expecting it to be a rainbow egg. In the original game, it was just a regular white egg. So right now, that egg doesn't do anything. I have to use it ten times for it to hatch. Alright, Mushroom Man. I still love how everybody dances on this screen. Uh, not great level up opportunities, which is normal now that I think about it. Once you get further into the game, the level up bonuses start weakening. Magic. Well, you respond in a hurry. That's okay. There's a special enemy here anyway. That looks like it hurts. Three?
It is weird that even if you perfectly block attacks like that, you're still afflicted by the status effect. At the same time, if I'm by me, being able to block the status effect would probably be too easy. Level up. Oh, that's a good boost in magic attack. At least for Bowser. It is interesting that this counts as a separate room. I mean, technically speaking, it's on the same map as... where we were before. I mean, I didn't get a treasure notification when I was coming out of that pipe over there. And this will lead to Trevor. Extra flower point. How am I doing on that? 96. He actually pulls out a watering can. I mean, kind of did in the original game as well, but there wasn't an animation for it. Rather, his spear just changed into a watery can watering can. So this is an interesting section right here. For the record, the end of the area is actually right through here. And in fact, that's where the next boss is. But, uh, there's a whole lot of optional to this area. And in order to reach the optional area, we have to fight these things. Surprisingly effective. It definitely pays to buff Bowser's magic. Speaking of magic, perhaps we should help with your magic. Oh gosh, you just learned your final magic attack, in fact. Well, we're definitely buffing that. And let's try it out in the next fight. First things first, what's down this pipe? Ah, this. We got a slot machine treasure box. If you get two of a kind, you get that prize. If you get three to three of a kind, you get a frog coin. If none of them match, you fight a mimic. For the love of cheese, don't wind up mismatching. All right, Geno Flash. I mean, that was definitely powerful. But... The effect was a little, uh... It was a little more drawn out in the original game. The, the explosion character did not grow so fast. So the oomph... Uh, the, the boom had a drawn out oomph. It was also just a little bit more flashy. 
in the Irish or not. Oh, I, in fact, I know what the main difference is. The original effect of that explosion had some transparency to it and was, as a result, had a bit of a glow to it. Whereas this thing was more of a solid object. Uh, welcome back to this. I've never memorized which of these pipes lead where. Also, yes, hello Kiba. I, I see you in the chat. You know, it really does feel like I'm leveling up more in this game. Uh... Health. Got that. And I believe this thing is the guaranteed mimic. Which means I'm gonna want Gina or Mallow on the team. Uh thank you. Um please pl please Zeno? Well, first off, that is a name change. In the original game, it was called a Box Boy. Oh! Please, no! Okay, that's, that's actually kind of funny. Defend, actually. We'll get the Thought Peak real quick. I knew I hit that too soon. Oh, yeah! That. That thing is dangerous. You're a great shepherd! Alright, we asked the egg. does not work on the, the genie. Oh gosh, I've been failing the timing of Thought Peak so often that it actually gave me an indicator. At long, long last, I am free! Ooh, that's a... Oh gosh! Oh gosh! So, oh, Carney Kiss. Nice to see that's still dangerous. I I've kind of actually been avoiding it up to this point in the game, which is surprising. Rattle, rattle. I waited 100 years for that, and it was worth it. And this is the attack that I need to worry about. Because, ah. <laughs> That thing has... Ah! Yep, this, this fight is definitely still super duper dangerous. Okay, I need to survive whatever I attack is followed. Oh good, it's just green. We can clear... 
cure that easy. Uh, I don't know which to focus on, so focus on both. Oh boy, the timing is so hard. Oh, that... And that is kind of painful. You know what? I'm not taking chances. Oh, I just remembered something! Okay, first things first. And get in some damage now. And Malo, you're gonna have to do a thing for me. I still have bracers from the Kulix fight. Oh yeah, you can spawn more than one of those. That's not cool. Not getting focus on you. I cannot seem to block that. Please don't counter magic. I mean, technically, of course you're resisting magic, that's why you're casting Blast! Well, you're almost down. That Bracer is definitely helping. Okay, next thing I'm gonna try... I don't know if it'll work, but... Well, it, uh, I was about to say, it doesn't say you resist it. Yes, it does. Oh, you're almost down, though. Uh, hypothetically, almost down. Almost is relative. I don't think it can be muted. <sighs> so, I reiterate, for the love of cheese, don't fail the slot boxes. Gimme. Hello, Cindy! Welcome to the stream! Where did the other gecko go? So, about that lamb's lore. It hath from the egg, we can use it to do this. It's... Kind of instant death, but instead it's instant new life. Okay, you don't resist it. Oh wait! But first off... Yeah, yeah, you actually do resist it, I'm pretty sure. It just isn't saying that you resist it. Yeah, I remember. Lamb's Lore... ...only works on small enemies. I 
I should probably restore my magic. Let, let's do that. Uh, Meeple Sarah. We're in the middle of battle. I want a bigger heal. Ah, uh, it's no way in uh, instead. I'm fairly certain you don't gain any experience points from the enemies that get turned into sheep, by the way. I'm also going to save after all that, just in case I wind up fighting another please no. You could totally get up to that Shia way to attack it, by the way. Oh gosh, that's a special enemy. Well... Lamb's lore won't work. You know what, let's uh... Yoshi cookie some more. Energizer. It's a shame that you can't actually ride Yoshi outside of Yoshi's Island, but... Nice that Yoshi can be a regular part of the game. Especially now that you can carry more cookies... ...than in the original. Well, that was a weak attack. That, uh... Ooh! Griffith has some high defense. Hey, I had a just enough MP for Snowy. It would have been funny if that KO'd it. You are not anywhere close to being out of uh, health either. I was I was hoping to. Well. I was hoping to get to the fight without needing to recover FP because I wanted to use these weaker honey syrups. But I guess I'll use them now. Waste some turns, but oh well. Wireland says, I remember how people were speculating. Maybe this remake will actually change to make Yoshi a real party member, which didn't happen. I would have been surprised if it did. Pleasantly surprised. But I was not getting my hopes up. Okay, hidden treasure in here. There it is. It's too bad you don't have the option of using the item rather than sending it to storage. I would have totally used it just then. Just in case. Alright, I'm safe. Last one. Okay, this is a fight I can test whether we get experience from doing this. And in fact, hold on a sec. Get back to Mallow. I know I've already looked at your thoughts before, but... I want it to be just a normal flower. Well... I can still turn you into something else. There. Now you can eat normal flowers. 
Though that may or may not be disturbing for you. I mean, as a pig, I don't eat pork anymore. Oh, crap. Right then. Uh, party bracer. And yeah, did not get experience from that fight. Yeah, we're using Ultra Jump against you. Ultra Jump is stronger than Super Jump. And if they're all hitting you, that's going to be helpful. It's being pointed out that I need healing. You might be right. I should be okay for one turn, though. That's fun. So, I bought a couple of these mushrooms from the Goomba triplets back in Monster Town. They, they turn you into mushrooms, and that is kind of funny. Alright, regular super jump now. The fact that you counter that is unfortunate. Oh gosh, that's not blast. Oh, never mind. Good news, that wasn't blast. That is a. Uh, apparently, you counter even if. Oh, crap. Oh, thank you for removing the sleep. Kind of think of it. Peach still has that betrothed ring. The, the nurture ring. Don't need it anymore now that she's hatched the egg. to finish you off. You know, that genie kind of looks like a Muppet. We'll go with that. And now that there's no more flowers to water, you just head off. What was... Is there light shining around here somewhere? Oh, let's see that again. Let's look at you. Kind of think of it. There is some sort of light so source shining down from somewhere. It was really obvious back in Booster Tower. Well, uh, didn't think I'd get around you. So, here's what we're gonna do. The Lamb's Lure, by the way, can be upgraded further. You have to use it. Want to say 40 times? Offhand, I can't remember if it's 40 successful times or just 40 times, period. Oh, that was awful. Am 
Imagine being bit and then turned into a scarecrow. Well, good news is, I can still do this. One would think this would actually hurt more. You're being pegged by a stick. Wow, I am failing hard at that. That kind of hurt. Oh gosh, uh, burn it. Kill it with fire. We killed it with fire. Shame I don't have... Shame I don't have... Just one more... Honey syrup. Oh, by the way, you could use these... Mushroomy mushrooms outside of battle. And they won't turn you into a mushroom. Because that status effect is not outside of battle. Oh gosh, of course one of them's special. Well, here's what we're going to do. That counts as a small enemy. Because it's the head that we're targeting rather than the block. And you can summon Yoshi. Got a regular mushroom. And I better not fail this timing. Okay, out of curiosity, what is your health, special chomp? 450. And yeah, it's being pointed out to me that they're weak against lightning. But uh, I was going to be psychopathing them this turn. Also, I'm out of FP. Play with me! Play with me! Give me attention! They, they are... they are dogs, essentially. Just very dangerous dogs. But it's entirely possible... Oh, that's unfortunate. It's entirely possible... That was... fail. It's entirely possible to tame them. Madame Meow Meow has a couple of them as pets. I tell you, the range of damage, depending on how well or not well you time the measure, is ridiculous. Don't fail the timing. Oh gosh, you got Carny Kiss. New plan, Bowser. Indeed, also friends of Bowser. Now, later on in the game, there's supposed to be a hint about how to get to the casino. It's something like three jumps and a gold chomp. We found the gold chomp. We found the three jumps. Technically, we don't actually have to fight the chomp, but it was a new enemy. Speaking of which... Please no! 900 HP. Freaking out about what might be in the box? You should be. It's a please no! They never, ever stop watching you. Jenny? 420 HP. It was caught cheating at treasure chest slots and confined inside Please No as punishment, where it is being forced to clean. Now I am wondering what it's like inside of a mimic.
chump chump. Really, it should be called a gold chump. 150 HP? They might seem riled up, but they're just playful at heart. They get a bad rep because of their absurdly painful bite. Absurdly painful is a good way of wording it. Though, not quite on the same level as please no. Anyway, secret exit found. Welcome to Great Guy's Casino. Oh, wow. Uh, this uh, definitely got a glow up. In the original game, it was just uh, this building on a small grassy area surrounded by blue void. Definitely wasn't surrounded by a forest on one side and a cliff on the other. This is, this is actually a nice way of making it look. Please enjoy yourself. We can only get in if we have a great card. Uh, the, the bright card that we got earlier. Also, I am absolutely going to have to get healed up at some point after we're done here. So, this boss is actually full size because you actually have room to be full size now. Welcome to Great Guy Casino. Wanna play the prize blocks? Require instructions? Yes. Hit it once to start the game. Each consecutive hit will freeze one of the pictures. Match all three, and you'll win a prize. Do you want to try it out? Yes. At the least, we don't have to fight it here. Also, they took out the gambling aspect of the slots. We're not actually spending money to play this. I want to say in the original game you had to risk a frog coin to get a frog coin? Or was it a 10 coin to get a frog coin? Either or. Either way, it was gambling. You were using real money, well, real game money at the very least. Not playing with chips or anything like that, you are using your coins. And Japan nowadays has some pretty strict laws about gambling in video games. If you are still gambling in this minigame, the game's rating in Japan I think would have to be up to an M rating. C can you imagine Mario RPG having an M rating? 100 syrup. You're supposed to give me a frog coin. I, I, I guess since you're not risking anything on these slots, the prizes have been nerfed. I'll try a few more times. I, I don't time this, as you can see. I, all I do is just mash A and hope for the best, or mash B. As you wish. Welcome to the memory game table. Play around with me, sir? Okay, so it's not 
blackjack anymore, it sounds like. Requiring instructions? Yes, because it's not blackjack anymore. The memory game tests your ability to remember things. You don't say. I would have never expected something called the memory game to be about memory. I will line up ten cards face up, showing you and your friends on them. You'll have three seconds to memorize everyone's positions before I flip the cards over. Okay, why would you replace the blackjack game with a memory game on a console with a snapshot button? I will then ask questions such as, which card shows Mario? And you will make your guess. Well, it's not, at least it's not like the traditional memory game where you're just matching the cards. Guess right and you win. Three correct guesses in a row earns a prize, but guess wrong, even once, and you must start all over. So, how about it? Would you like to play the memory game? Yes. Toads. Lots of toads. Mello. Peach. Gino. This was Mario. Which card is Peaches? The dialogue is automatic, so no risk of pressing A just as the cursor appears. It looks like you won, Mario. Please accept your prize. A finless cola. You want to continue? Yes. Mario is surrounded by Toes, and our remaining party members are over there on the left. Peach, Gino, Mallow, Bowser. Probably not going to ask about any of the Toes. Rather, the toads are all fail cards. Okay, Mario's down in the corner, and then up to the right, it's Bowser, Gino, Peach, and Mallow. Is Gino going to be the last choice every time? Wayland says this doesn't actually look that fun. Uh, first off, Peach, Gino, Mario, Mallow, Bowser. Mario's in the middle. And... No! Blackjack was honestly more fun. Even if it was easier to lose. Let me guess, Gino? No, Bowser! I mean, it'd be more fun if uh, it went more than three cards in. Oh, this is a complex set. Okay, Ma Mario's down there. Bowser, Malu. Gino, and then there's Peach down in the middle over there. I mean, it's an easy way to get items, I can tell you that. But otherwise... Meh. I'm good. Yeah, the minigame definitely needed more characters to look through. Oh. What you couldn't carry was sent to the storage box at Mario's pad. You don't get this notification upon acquisition of the prizes until you're done acquiring the prizes.
Your game's lame. Can I jump on you? Nope, you you got a you got quite the tall hitbox. Oh boy. Great guy. Uh I'm gonna go on a break before talking to Great Guy because I'm going to really want to rest my voice. Give it a break before I start talking about this. Be right back.